Paul, down here on the bowl at the end of the FC Isle of Man Summer Festival of Football, brought to us by Steam Packet Holidays. How was that experience for you? It was great, wasn't it? It was a great weekend of uh, watching some decent teams kind of battle it out a little bit. And, you know, I think uh, hopefully everyone who came down to watch the games have seen, you know, full of... Uh, endeavour but also a fair few goals going in as well so no it's been brilliant you know we've got so much out of it as a, as a club and a, and a squad and a, a management staff and uh, you know it's been brilliant really enjoyed it. How have you found having the other teams over has it you know obviously from a higher level perspective how's, how have you found that? Um, it's been good it's, it's been a really good test um, you know, Friday night we, we couldn't really find much about Chester so we weren't 100% sure how they were going to play and kind of have to make it up on the hoof a little bit and I thought the lads did really really well and was able to come down and watch Ratcliffe yesterday so could see a little bit more about what they were trying to do and have a little bit more of a plan which I think kind of helped the, helped the lads to, to do exceptionally well in the first half. Um, so yeah, it's good. It's a good test for everybody, isn't it? You know, the players don't play at this level very often, but the coaches and myself don't get to work at this level very often. And the games are, well, it's the same game in terms of the rules that we play in our league, but it's a different game in terms of the speed and, and some of the, the qualities on show. And it's just fantastic for all of us to get the opportunity to test ourselves and, and identify areas we can develop and, and hopefully bring that into what we do this season. And obviously we've just played Radcliffe there. Three all, three all draw. It was an absolutely thrilling game. You know, good to see Luke Murray on the score sheet. Adam Adebayi, he's got a goal there. What are your thoughts on just that particular game? It was, yeah, it was, it was a good game. You're right. I thought we were very, very good first half. I thought we, we caused some significant issues in and out of possession. Um, the players got a little bit leggy towards the last kind of five, ten minutes of the first half, and but. They, they, we did very well um, and thought we thoroughly deserved to go in 2-0 um, um, and it's that whole manager's um, half-time tea talk isn't it like the first 10 minutes are important make sure we keep doing what we were doing and they they pushed players up the pitch a little bit more and um, had their runners in behind and went a little bit more direct and we didn't really cope with that for the first kind of 10 or 15 minutes and um, you know, when they went ahead, I thought that was a bit unfair just in terms of how the lads had played. But um, I'm really happy that, that we got that third goal and, you know, we didn't deserve to lose that game, I don't think. So I'm glad for, for once that the, the scoreline reflected that. And obviously the sun's been out today. Fans have been down in the droves. Just a little word for the fans. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's a Sunday afternoon, isn't it? And some of them will maybe watch three games of football already this weekend. And, it's great, you know, it's a credit to them for coming down and supporting us and, and also the Ratcliffe fans who have come over this afternoon, as, oh, sorry for the weekend as well. So, no, brilliant. Um, hopefully more to come over the next few seasons, isn't it? And, and we can not just do what we've done this season, but hopefully expand it a little bit more in the years to come. And um, no, we're, we're looking forward to playing in front of the Conspiracy next Saturday. You know, that's, this has all been just built into that, that league season and Chatterton at home next Saturday night. Um, it's something that everyone's looking forward to, I think, and I really hope that, you know, they've come on loads, this playing group, um, and I, I hope they can show it from the start of this season onwards, and um, that'll, that'll take the backing of uh, our loud and proud supporters. So hopefully we get that in numbers on Saturday night and, and we can, can come down and embrace the opportunity and the occasion to, to put in another strong performance. And finally, just a little word for the sponsors. Obviously, Steam Pack at Holidays come on board. We've had Hope and Glory sponsoring the matches. Um, what what are your thoughts on that? You know, it, we couldn't have done this without no, them, could we? It's not possible, is it? Unless, well, the community get behind it in terms of people buying match tickets to come and watch, which I, which I believe has been really good. And, and also, without the, the key sponsors and local organisations willing to back the club and, and back what the club's trying to do on the Isle of Man for our community. So, Steam Packet Holiday is a different class, you know, brilliant. And, and Rick at Hope and Glory, we've... We had a long, uh, well, we've had a long connection with Rick, you know, and, and we're really glad that that company's going um, from better and better things, and, and more and more clubs are working with them because um, he's a top bloke, and that, and they've done, you know, great things for us. So it's wonderful to have him, the, him here this weekend with his family and and experiencing our island. So yeah, you know, hopefully more follow. You know, the, the club can only go on and do other things like, you know, so enter cup competitions and give other opportunities to, to other people if, if, you know, the money comes in through the gates, but also through sponsorship. So, so hopefully this has been a really good advert for, for football and, and non-league football, but also for our club and what we're about and uh, more people want to 
kind of help us and collaborate with us over the over the years ahead. Perfect.